Jesus and Mary Magdalene, the magnetic center of our hearts. Walk with me and let me show you what it feels like to know God within. You are at the place of this blending where your consciousness of God becomes your own life, not separate. It is like walking as a pure light package, one's being a wholeness of pure pulsating light. Every step is pure exaltation. Every nuance of life is pure sweet joy. Every life form is a being to be cherished, and with each contact the life force surges forth to greet each other, acknowledging its presence and receiving its wisdom. When God is within us so clearly and is so limitless, every sweet encounter is God meeting God. Pure light, pure pulsing love. And everywhere and always the communion with God is alive and aware as me. So I am Jesus only in the smallest sense. In the larger sense, I am God giving birth to light every now moment. So how does it feel to be the living word, the Logos? How does it feel to be the Christ? How does it feel to be still fully present in the world and have everyone aware of me, the majority of them focused mainly on my death? How it feels is like being a living sun burning, Mary Magdalene and I in the great union always. It is this union that is the fire, the core, that which fuels the great combustion that makes us one with the great light, the moment of creation. Lovemaking, as you know, is what creates all creation's movement. Every star you see, every sun is a twin flame pair making love. What you see is the light, the fire, that which is the shining of the union. You believe these things are physical because you don't yet see the real all around you. You don't yet see with your hearts because when you do, you will quickly realize that every one, every star, each sun is a twin flame's energy. The light exploding from their womb, their core, pulsing forth both light and heat, these are the living forces of life. So once Mary and I had come together and the steak secrets of I Am had revealed themselves to us, we learned how to sustain our love. Making love at all times, even when our bodies did not seem to be together, we walked as a living sun, alive with God's creative force. The aura, or our emanation, reached out for miles around us. And as we walked forth, as we moved, all life on earth became us as together we recognized ourselves and everything. As each life came within our light, each one knew itself as a part of the whole, the one life of Christ, and gently became the expression of the greater will. Every element, the expression in color and light, and most of all in feeling of the wonder of God's in great intelligence orchestrating the whole. And the one love became the whole of our being. And when spoken through the heart, each energy has a voice, a consciousness of itself as this love. It is, as God has been showing you, the whole of the conscious love, the ocean, the love coming into awareness of countless energetic heart points, or points of view within the whole divine masculine, the will of God to know God's self. And all of it pulsing in and out, in and out, the silence between the heartbeats, and then the pulse, the coming out of all the awareness points. The words, of course, are so inadequate, but to you we deliver the feelings. And we want you to know that you have called us through giving yourself to God's will, and we are answering the call. So we will be present now a lot of your life, and we ask you to also publish our encounters as this joy unfolds. We will use joy instead of work, because joy is what we will together, being the joy of God. 
It is the fact of your integration and the fact that you now are moving forth to do your service. Joy that makes our life most relevant to your life now. And in terms of reaching people at the present state of consciousness, many people will find it easier to contemplate us than God, though of course they are in essence the same. So the first thing we bring to you is the feeling of your center point, the feeling of the vibration that is your heart. To become in the world the force of love, the source, the cause, you have to be the fully charged magnetic sun or center. Only thus will you have the focus to change the appearances before you of that which is called the world, but which is of course totally malleable. Conscious energies of love that have been stopped by the ego mind's energies and made to appear solid, not fluid at all. But appearances can be deceiving, as of course you already know. So let us start with our twin flame love, our work together. Let's also start by showing each one how to tune into his or her own center point. The center point is the heart of your heart, the point of your unique gift of life. It is the point where forever God has encoded your unique pattern, recorded the song of your life and made the connection as twin flames, and the point that connects you always to God, to the exploding into conscious relationship, the eternally alive now moment. This point is the center point of your being, of your greater will. It is also the magnetic genetic code that will always draw to you your own that which reflects your twin flame heart. It is this magnetic point in action that brings your supply to you, the supply of energy to sustain your life always, your supply of joyous creative energy, your supply of endless love stamped with your energetic signature, so it always reflects you, your heart, the expression of God you are as a twin flame love. Without the connection to this magnetic center, beloved heart sisters and all, you cannot have enough life force or compression to clear the illusion, dispel the reversal, light up the shadows and heal, supply and serve. You know that magnetics are the basis of all created life, also what you call resonance, the law of attraction. But magnetics is far more than just another way of speaking of resonance. It is the result of God. Our Creator's decree that love shall forever and ever be more, more of itself, love making more love forever and ever and ever. So it is not as if you can simply be the opening for the very river of life to pour through, to be delivered by you as a twin flame heart and service, because this would be the only same love sent. It wouldn't be more love more energy, more life, thus the twin flame womb. You already know the experience of making love in the real. You know the sensation of amplifying the love from God and pouring it forth as one beating heart. But you do not yet know how to direct this process in specific ways to charge up your center, to become a magnetic presence that can literally change the world with your every step. You have not learned how to charge up your heart to make of it a whirling generator that besides generating a new level of energy will suck in the shadows and reconnect them with God. In other words, you become a transforming heart, universal, taking in the illusion of the ego mind and replacing them with what is real. It is up to you to be sure the old pattern is replaced with real love. This is your source of power, the magnetic power of love. And when the heart center is really generating, it opens up all dimensions at once so the magnetic power of love can accomplish God's greater will everywhere at once. This is the same premise as stacking in the twin flame heart, except it is not about getting things done. It is about pulling together the split. It is the drawing together the horizontal arm and bringing it into alignment with the great river of life. Magnetics also create a powerful vortex, which means that all who come near have assistance in vaulting into the real. 
Oh, how I want you all to experience the miracles that will ensue as you live from the very alive center where you are amplified love. There are things about the magnetics of an awakened twin flame heart that are powerful beyond your imagining and hard to explain to a little ego mind. We will be teaching you to use this power for all the things you are aware of is coming, the perfecting of the body, the return of the body to the radiant health, returning the light the body and developing the practice of generating power. Power which then can and must be used to heat and cool buildings, the power of transportation and to create the abilities to travel using the dimensional connecting lines, etc. Most of all, it is the most important to use this power to bring forth life. Whether this is the healing of other bodies or the creation of babies from the pure realms of love, as I was born, with only spiritual DNA, not human DNA. God, Goddess, I prefer to speak of the wholeness of both divine masculine and feminine. Probably Mother, Father, God would be the most in alignment with my R vibration, has worked with the center point in each of you when he or she has said to focus on the center of your heart. Now we will be assisting you in the endeavor to coming into your power. However, I just ask you to remember and to speak about this regularly. This can only take place in the center, meaning when a person has made the shift to love when the ego mind has been subdued at least to a large extent. Since all that is sent out invariably and by law returns, multiplied of course, we want to always and ever listen to God's will and not ours in the use of the power every little bit. But most important to us at this stage is the connection in each of you to your power. Your connection, beloved ones, to the source of power and life in yourself. You can feel how true this is, so that the world of the reversal can't suck you in and convince you to forfeit your glorious life in so many, many ways each and every day. Feel how it feels to feel powerful, to remember your essential self, to walk each step truly knowing that anything and everything is possible as you will come into understanding how to hold this and feel it, how to change it up using your twin flame womb, you will realize what a powerful tool this will be in the times that are now entering in, in times about upheaval of ego mind. And as you know, this is the biggest upheaval of them all now beginning. This connection to the center point and your communion with God is going to allow you to be the miracles that others will need. The center of your open heart is yours forever. It is your connecting point with God, with your twin flame, with the power of your purpose. It is already in operation. It is just bringing it into consciousness. It is very much a part of the glorious waking heart experience. Thank you for being willing to remember. It has nothing to do with the solar plexus center, and this will be important as we practice. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your love. Mary Magdalene and I are honored to be here. I am your brother. I am Jesus and I am Mary Magdalene. So be it.